Okay, so the first thing to do is to cut your pipe cleaner to length and then bend it to the same shape as the body section on your stencil sheet so that it roughly fits along there. And then we're going to attach the leg. So I'm using four millimeter black um, pipe cleaners here. So measure about halfway on the pipe cleaner for the legs. And once you have the position, you want to wrap around tightly as you can, just a few times. So those are the front legs. And then the position for the back legs. Like so. And now we're going to bend, hold that in place at the points here, and bend the legs into shape, like so. And just make sure that you have them even. Okay, so you want to leave around half a centimetre extra at the bottom here, if you can see that, and you want to cut that to length. And then that extra little bit, you want to bend over and pinch together tightly. You can use pliers if you like. And this will stop the wire from the pipe cleaner poking through the wall. So now you should have the correct length. There we go, so you should have something that looks like this. For the hooves, we're going to use the black merino wool. And to keep the hooves even, it helps to measure out four amounts the same before you start. Um, we want to keep the legs nice and thin. That's probably a bit too long, actually. We don't want much at all. We're going to hold the wool onto place on the, the leg and wrap downwards and wrap around the feet like this. Just keep wrapping and smoothing and then just a couple of stabs with your felting needle to secure that in place. And then this section we're going to wrap tightly all the way up the leg, like so. Right, so what I've got here is a little bit of PVA glue mixed with water. I'm going to smooth that just around each hoof. Okay, so now the hooves are dry. Um, you can use a sharp pair of scissors just to trim off any stray bits of fuzz. Okay, so now we're going to start wrapping the legs. I'm going to measure out four equal amounts. So just keep an eye as you go on the other leg, keeping a similar thickness. And all the way down and around and keeping the hooves the same kind of size as well and needle felt that into place going up again nice and tight keeping it nice and tight all the way and needle felt here it goes. Let's build up the tops of the back legs now. So wrap a few times and then down. There we go. So the legs should get thinner as you get towards the bottom. So you don't have to keep wrapping and wrapping more and more wool. And then we just wrap 
this area and need off up the tops of the leg and it helps to get things even if you look at your reindeer from different angles okay so I'm going to start wrapping the body now so using a thicker length of wool I'm going to start around the back end and just wrap around a few times and then in between the legs and around the back top of the tail so we're just wrapping like this to build up the back end if you can see that and then take the other length the other end and wrap that tightly other way as well once it's all wrapped you can start to needle felt that into shape There we go. Okay, now I'm going to wrap another strip of wool up this way and around the chest area, in between the legs and around. Okay, so I'm going to attach the, uh, the antlers now. Trim off the excess fluff. Right, so we want to bend our pipe cleaner in half, like so, and cut so that you have two equal lengths. Then take one of the halves and attach that to where your antlers are going to be. Wrap around just a couple of times. And just so it's really secure at the top, I'm going to twist that once like that. Now we're going to take the other half and cut it again. So fold in half again so you have two equal amounts. And cut. And then we're going to use that to create the other section of the antlers. So wrap up couple of times nice and tightly like so and bend into shape however you want them so you could have one up like this and one down like that once you have them where you want them just trim to even up the antlers so either side and then the front sections, that's quite a bit of a difference there. So just even them out. And I'm using a darker brown wool on the, the antlers. So we're gonna start with our piece of wool halfway. So this bottom bit's gonna wrap that bottom section of antler and then this bit will wrap around there. Um, pull the wool tightly as you come to the end and just wrap nice and tightly and then just a couple of pokes with your felting needle. So if you can see that there, we have the bottom section wrapped and now we can turn and wrap the other piece here. So now we can cover this main section at the back here with a strip of wool. So there we go. And then all the fuzzy bits, don't worry about those because we're going to smooth our antlers now with some PVA glue and water mixture. And I'm adding a couple of drops of washing up liquid into that mixture. Uh, that's just going to help smooth the fibers even more. And just smooth that on. Smooth it all around. 
So I also decided I'd like to put some of this mixture around the bottom of the legs just to smooth those. Now the antlers are dry, we can start wrapping the head and the neck. So I'm just going to take some more of the light brown wool and wrap that tightly up and around the top of the head in between the antlers and then down onto the nose. other end, just wrap that around like so. And just adding more wool around the neck. In between the antlers again and around the nose area. I felt round the base of the antlers to help neaten that area. And use your fingers to help shape the neck and keep that flat. Check from the top that the antlers are even and underneath the head. Again you can check that the nose is even. So using my stencil sheet here the neck is a nice um, sort of thickness. I can see I've got to build up the head a bit more and the body quite a bit more as well but it's just a guide you can keep your reindeer as skinny or as make him as fat as you want him so more around the body So I've just wrapped a bit more wool around the body and I'm going to put a bit more now around the back end to build that up. So just to neaten off the top of the head and to cover the um, antlers and make that a bit neater, I'm just going to put a little bit of wool over that. So needle felt that round the base of the antlers as well and down onto the neck. And use your fingers to help shape the head and you can readjust the antlers. Now I'm going to take a little bit more wool and just um, build this area up here on the top of the leg onto the body. So as you can see we hold it onto the body, wrap around just a couple of times and go back onto the body like this. 
and needle felt that into place. And that just creates a bit more muscle on the top of the leg. And then on the inside as well, we just want to blend that together. So needle felt to help get rid of the join. So I'm re-bending the back leg into shape. And I'm gonna build up the thigh area on the back leg, just at the top here. Just wrap that around and onto the body. it down and needle felt that on and do the same to the other side and just check the legs again from the back and just so that they're even so just looking at this area, I'm going to add a bit more around the base of the neck here. And then just to help smooth things out now, you just want to take a fine layer of the same brown wool and then not much, hardly need any, smooth that over and needle felt that on and that will just help cover any joins. And just redefine the tops of the legs. So you can see these joins here where we've wrapped the wool and you have some lumps and bumps. Again, just a little bit of your carded wool and smooth it on and just felt the top coat over and it will blend those lumps and bumps away. Again, it helps to look at your sculptures from all different angles when you're And working. just check the position of the back legs, for instance, if you're looking from underneath. And for the tail, um, I'm going to use some white carded wool now, just a little bit, and we wrap that around. And I'm going to build up the middle section of the tail, so just a little bit more wool around there. And needle felt that on. So to neaten the base of the tail, I'm going to wrap a little bit more brown wool around again. And needle felt that on. Going on to the back, you just want to put some more of the light brown. And there you have your little reindeer tail. I'm just reshaping the back now. So this bit dips in. So um, an option for the ears, you could actually cut out the ears from wool felt fabric and sew those on, or you can needle felt them, which is what I'm going to do now. Just roughly and flatten it between your fingers 
And once you have those similar in size, uh, you can needle felt some white, just a little bit of white on the inside. And then just trim off these um, excess fluff at the back of the ears. And then what I like to do, this is optional of course, is um, just take some of my washing up liquid solution with PVA glue and just smooth that around to help shape the ears. And let those dry. Okay, so now the ears are dry, we can attach those to the head and they just want to sit just below the antlers like that. And I'm going to attach from the top. So needle felt all this in around the back of the head. And then just a tiny bit of um, wool to cover the join here. So you just want to lay that over the base of the ear and needle felt into place. And again, to neaten this join now of the ears, just a tiny bit of your carded wool, just using it to cover the joins of the ear. Okay, I'm gonna add some cream wool now to our reindeer's tummy area. bit of um, a furrier neck so with the long wool on the neck here so I'm using Corydale tops here rather than the Corydale carded wool and this is just a natural cream and I'm going to take some of that and needle felt across the middle of the neck here and using a bit of the cream carded wool, I'm gonna needle felt that across the middle section just to really anchor that in place. So then we bring the top section down, you can see here the fold, and we carefully needle felt at the top of the fold as well into the neck. And then use a little bit more of your cream carded wool to needle felt and blend that in across the top. And again, just a little bit of the white carded wool on the sides here, just to um, create a more natural look. And now all you have to do is trim this your desired length so I'm just going to trim to a point so again use your fingers to help shape it and then I'm just gonna needle felt that excess now under so I want to add some more detail to the face I'm just using a little bit of cream colored carded wool and needle felting that around the nose and mouth And now I'm going to create the mouth and just taking a little bit of the black carded wool. Use your felting needle to carefully draw on the little mouth. Okay, let's make the eyes now. So you just want two equal amounts of a carded black wool. We roll it around into a little oval shape and then position onto the side. You need to felt that into place. And 
and then I'm using some bright white carded wool now, just a little bit, to go around the eye just to help it stand out a bit better. Kind of lift this little bit up here, give him some wide eyes. And then I didn't know whether or not to make this little guy a Rudolph and give him a red nose, but I thought it might be fun to try that. So just gonna take some red carded wool and just needle felt that into a little oval shape. And let's see what this looks like. So just needle felt that into position. So one point like so, and then fold over and carefully needle felt the two points together. So that's our little Rudolph the Reindeer finish now. I might just give him a little bit more of a trim all over, but I'm quite liking that little red nose. I think that looks quite cute. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, guys, and you have lots of fun making your own little reindeers. Thanks so much for stopping by today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you back here soon.